This is Mike Mintz from My Media Labs, and you are watching Internet Marketing Made Simple. We are continuing our WordPress tutorial, and today we will learn how to create a custom header. Before we get started, I just want to call your attention to this little uh, tip here. When you're working in WordPress, it makes a lot of sense to work in a tabbed browser um, like Firefox or Chrome. I'm using Google, Google Chrome right here. And to have the uh, one tab be your dashboard, which is what you're looking at now, where you'll be doing a lot of the behind the scenes work. And the second tab, to be the actual website you're working on. Um, it just makes it easier to, to sort of flip between tabs instead of always having to kind of click in and out of the site. All right, so let's go back to the dashboard and change that header. Oh, by the way, this is what we will be changing. This is the header right here, this little, these blades of grass. Um, this doesn't really say much about our site, so we want to put something there that does, and we're going to make that in this video. Okay, so right here we go to our dashboard and in the left hand sidebar we go down to appearance. When we mouse over it we see that we get a drop down menu where we want to go and click header. That's going to bring up the header menu and what you'll see is right here is our blade, these are our blades of grass and this is a stock picture and, and you know this theme that I've chosen called Coraline actually gives you three stock headers and we're not so interested in those. Um, one thing you definitely want to take note of here is this number. Um, if you do have a theme with a header it's going to tell you how big that header is and this is the size you're going to have to work with. Remember that number because when we go and create our header uh, in a program called PowerPoint we are then going to size up the header in a second program called Paint.net and I'll go into that in just a minute. So. Let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, Microsoft PowerPoint, it's a, uh, a program by Microsoft. Uh, you know, it costs some money, but you can get yourself a free alternative. Uh, just Google PowerPoint alternatives. So when you open up PowerPoint, this is what you're looking at. Uh, this is a basic slide, and you want to just click on the edges of these little boxes and delete these because um, you want a blank slate. Then go up here to the Insert menu, Go ahead and go to picture because we're going to want to add some images to our headers. Um, good headers usually are images and uh, and text. So here we, we select one image, we click insert. Uh, there's another image that I want, uh, that I know I want for this header. So I'm going to find that in my image file here uh, because what we're doing is a website about uh, educational technology. So I've got this one plus one plus two, it shows a little bit of education and this uh, e-reader which shows kind of technology. Now I want these to be the same size so you notice a lot of this is dragging. Um, if I want to change the size of this photo I can pinch and squeeze these edges here or I can right click and you'll see it brings up uh, these size bars here and I could just click that and get it a little smaller so it matches the other photo. Alright now I want to add some text and uh, a quick and dirty way to get some nice looking text is to go back to the insert menu and you'll see there's this uh, icon, this A for word art, and you click on that. You find a font that you like. I kind of like this one. And uh, you click it, and then here, you've got this nice giant font. Now, that's a little too big for what we're using, so I'm going to go back to the Home tab and click here uh, on the size, and I'll make that 36. It's a good size font. And you'll see it fits now with between my pictures. And let's put our text in there. The future of, I'm going to make a space, Jewish education. That's kind of what my blog's about. And so that looks pretty good, but let's move those pictures out. We're going to make the formatting a little better here. And then that is what we want our, our header to look like. Now, we can't use a PowerPoint slide for a header, so we've got to turn this into an image file, like a JPEG or a PNG file. Very easy to do on PowerPoint. You just go to File, Save As, and you save the file type as uh, JPEG, one of the most commonly used. Give it a name, put it in a place you'll remember, WordPress header, uh, and you click Save. And it's going to ask if you want to export every slide. This is if you had multiple slides. Um, it's asking kind of which one you want. So we're just going to say current slide only. I just usually just click that. Um, and then we're done with PowerPoint. So we can go ahead and, and close our PowerPoint. And then we are going to want to open up Paint.net, which is the program we're going to use to uh, 
to size up our header and make sure that it is in fact the right size. And so here you go, this is paint.net. This is uh, an open source program. You can get it for free if you just do a, um, a, a Google search for, for this here, paint.net. Um, so you see here, the most important thing is this ruler. Um, we get a nice little ruler across the page, both horizontally and vertically. And if you remember back on our um, header page, right, we need this header to be 990 by 180, 990 across and 180 up and down. Um, so paint.net's gonna let us see that. And the way we get our image in there is we just click file, open, WordPress header, that was our file. We're gonna open that up. And there you, there you go, you see it, it goes in there and we can kind of measure this out. We see it between these bars here. We've got 100 to 900 or 800 across. We're well within our, our range. And th at the 300 mark here to the four, 25 mark so that's about 125 pixels up and down again remember we're at 990 and 180 so we are well within the range so we're good to go we can use this header as is no editing required so let's go back into WordPress and we're gonna add that header we're gonna go choose file there's our header we're gonna click that open and upload and you're going to find uh, that this is going to bring us to the crop header image screen. Now, this is where things can get frustrated. Uh, frustrating. If you don't use paint.net or a similar program to measure out your header, when you go to put this little crop uh, window over your header, you're going to be very, very frustrated if you have to now start going back and resizing your header or if it doesn't fit within the crop window. So that's why it's very important just to use that program, the image uh, editor, to make sure you are within the size. When you get uh, the, the crop window, you see this fits perfectly. We just click crop and publish. And uh, just give it a minute and there you go. We see here, this is our header, it is in there. And if we go back to the tab, so we just have to refresh this page to see the change. And we have a custom header. Um, really cool stuff, very easy to do. And I hope this video was helpful to you.